Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you my latest empties that I finished of course and I also do have a product update. So if you are interested to find out more then just keep on watching. Falling on your feet do you finally see what you're missing? So before we are starting with the actual empties, I have an update about a product that I've shown you and the product was kindly sent to me by the company Comper Smartkin. So it is about this device that has 4-in-1 integrated technology. So it has EMS, RF, which stands from radio frequency, LED, LED, therapy and massage. I'm going to link the unboxing video in my description box. You can find more information about where you purchase it and all the deeds. But this is a follow up because I have used it for over 30 days, which is um, the recommended time or term to see any results. And what is very, very nice about this device is the fact that it's coming, or it's not coming, but it has a um, app that it's developed for both Android and iOS. I have iOS, so I have uh, installed it on my iPhone. And basically this app, it will guide you in the way that you should use it. So it tells you where to apply it and how much you should do it. And I find this being very, very useful. And as you can tell, now I have makeup on, but I have taken uh, footage before and after, and I can tell that I am seeing a result. Now I do not have so much fine lines and wrinkles, but I can see a overall improvement in my skin texture. I find that my pores are a little bit more smooth and I sense a firmness on my skin. I don't know if you can tell from the actual footage, but <clears throat> I think that it does help. And using it constantly, you will going to see better and better results. So what I'm uh, doing, I'm using uh, this device four to five times a week because the RF, it's not recommended to use it more than uh, four times a week. So from this reason, I'm giving the skin some break and I did not have any irritation, any counteract. So definitely love it. It's very easy to maneuver it. I have demo to you in the unboxing video. It's coming with a plugin. Maybe, yeah, this is one thing that I would have loved to see on this program or this uh, device. I would have loved to be cordless. But other than that, I love it. It's a very nice product and it's a good investment. So invest in your skincare. And even I do not have so much to work as of now, I do believe that it's better to prevent than to treat. So using it constantly, I think it will help you to age gracefully. So yes, this is Julia's Be Beauty approved and for sure you are going to hear me talking about this in my upcoming videos. I have this basket full of empties and I have something which overflows and usually I'm very, very bad when it's about recording my empties. They have to overflow from the drawer or from this basket to find myself a impulse to start recording. So I don't know, I should do that in monthly basis, but I am, I am bad on filming my uh, empty. So if you are interested and if you enjoy this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. All right, so the empty products are in no particular order. I have finished one of the best discoveries of this year, even though I have uh, bought it last year. This is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara which I'm wearing today. I have put a little bit of the eye drops and it's still uh, working, but I know that it's time for it to go. I'm going to repurchase it at some point, not right now because I have a huge mascara collection, but if I'm going to get it in some 
subscription box or in some deal for sure I'm going to be happy very nice doesn't much lasts all day it is supposed to be a volumizing mascara but it's also giving me length so couldn't be more happy with this and also it has some scent to it so if you are sensitive to that just keep in mind but the scent disappears so the scent reminds me of a YSL mascara or a Lancome which I think is the same deal because those brands are somehow related or owned by the same uh, umbrella the next product is a Florence by Miles and it's my favorite brow gel it's coming with a tiny little brush and it helps to comb and hold in place your brows this was in transparent but it's also coming it in uh, several colors so maybe i'll try to buy a colored one but i was feeling that it helps to give a shape to my brows and keep them in uh, place for all day this is a hyaluronic serum by glow recipe i enjoyed using it but just just i want to tell you that after i have reached the half of the bottle it started to dispense very very difficult so I had all the time to be very careful and to have the, the bottle like straight if by any chance because when you are pumping you have to tilt it it was not dispensing any product so just <laughs> a small FYI but the product is, uh, itself was nice I love it and use it up in my morning skincare routine I have used a trial or a travel size of the Olaplex number no. 3. I love it so much. I have um, 100 ml that I'm currently using it in conjunction with number no. 0 and my hair is right now after I have used this treatment and look at it. It has so much, so nice texture. It's so airy, how to say, so airy and uh, the curls are very nice falling. So love it it's very pricey and I know that makeup revolution has a line that it's meant to be a affordable dupe for the Olaplex so I might try that one this is a L'Oreal magic retouch spray that is meant to be for your roots and <clears throat> I don't have anything against the product the product is good it's very nice I had it in the shade brown but I don't like the pump it splashes everywhere so not only I need to be very careful to apply it before I do my makeup because I need to cleanse around my entire face but also it splashes on my skin on my sink and from this reason I'm not going to repurchase it I much more love the one from Sias and it also has more quantity for the same price my Canadian friends are going to laugh now I have finished another refill for the palm leaf. this is the foam refill love it it's a um, strawberry scent I know that you can do your own foam soap at home but I love that one it's already made and it smells divine um, two products that I just have a little bit left this is a cleanser by Tula I got it in one of my boxy charm last year and it's a deep exfoliating blackhead scrub I did not like this guys doesn't do too much it's like a gel it has some bits to, to it I think they are natural might, might be some raspberry or uh, you you can tell I still have a little bit but I find it not effective and doesn't cleanse your skin so if you have an SPF or a light makeup it might work but if you want to double cleanse with this I think it's not the best choice for a removing and cleansing a full face of makeup and this is almost finished is my Ulta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum F SPF 44 this is my holy grail SPF I love it so much it's a tinted version but look when you put it on the skin it's almost coming one with your skin and the foundation on top of it looks perfect so some of the mineral uh, sunscreens are very tricky to say that but this was not the case with this I'm not going to repurchase it just because it's pricey 
not very convenient for me to use it to buy it here i need to buy it from the skin store and ship it to my us address and from there to ship it here so i don't want to do that when i have so many spf products thanks to stylevana they they stock me up with spf every time they sending me a, pr a package and i'm going to have a new package from stylevana in may so another spf so yeah i'm set for spf for a good year now going to the big pile i have finished a murad hydration toner i love it so much and it's very convenient to apply it it has a pump yeah it's still something left but yeah, i'm not able to disperse it love it i actually very much love it also got it in boxy charm this is another stuff that i got in boxy charm by the brand bamboo body polish it's very thin consistency i didn't like it i was feeling that it's too mild for my skin and um, too aggressive for the face so i have used it mostly for my um, neck area and decolletage and for the arm but yeah it's not something to recommend you guys i think there are other scrubs that are way better i finished up some depology patches i have a review about them i'm not going to go now into details very much love them those are the deep care micro needle patches now they have re repackaged them and also the jawline mask i need to use all of them because i love the jawline mask another mask from stylevana i have just used it literally two days ago also love it this was a face cream it's from the brand ayumi and it's a fairness daily night cream now i want to tell you that i have started to use this and after a few weeks or days i do not remember my skin started to burn so i could not stand this one so what i did i have used it for my hands my kids finished another nivea baby pure sensitive wash lotion and we have another one daily greens by pharmacy love this one i finished it last week or two weeks ago i love it so much it's so lightweight and i'm not going to repurchase it of course because i have a lot of face creams to go through but i highly recommend you if you are looking for a nice lightweight moisturizer this is a um, retinol from the brand glotanic beauty three-in-one retinol i think this was supposed to be for your face and it's a very nice generous size 250 mils i use it for my body for my upper part of the body i cannot tell that i have seen so many results because i was not taking pictures before and after this is my husband's he finished a rexona cobalt dry deodorant i just wanted to show you because i know in the united states you have this brand under a different name i think it's either shore or something else united states and canada i believe in north america he uses this for years and years those are some patches that i also got from style vanna i'm sorry for my skin under eye patches and i just did not like them because yeah it's coming with a spatula they were not sitting whatsoever they were moving as soon as i was putting them they were sliding so i don't like when this is happening and right now if you know patches that are coming in this kind of package that you use them daily and they sit they don't slide please let me know because i'm looking for a new set of eye patches okay some other under eye patches by patchology they were a little bit better but they were also sliding a pantan hair superfood leave-in i love this one very very nice this is my <laughs> beloved sephora sample from the nars foundation in the shade vienna i use it up and i want to tell you guys that i think i had product to use it for at least five applications and i went to sephora to shade match and i could see that i'm matching with the shade goby but the shade goby it's sold out they only have the tester and i also checked on cult beauty look fantastic and other online retailers and there is no shade goby so i think i need to go again and find other shade that it will work for me the shade vienna it's not bad it's it's matching me i think it will match me during summer but i want something to be a little bit more lighter to be able to be able to wear it all year round 
I finished a body shower, a travel body shower from um, L'Occitane. Love it. This is in um, Verbena, Verbena shower gel. A retinol from Dr. Denise Gross. It's for your eyes and for the face. Advanced retinol plus ferulic, triple concentration eye serum and texture renewal serum for your eyes and for your face. Love them so much. I have a backup. A vitamin C by Vitabreed C. Love it. It's for your eyes and for your face. So I have, uh, I have used it both. Another eye cream that I finished. This was my favorite. This is by Ole Henriksen and this is the banana, banana bright eye cream. It was so nourishing. You see, I scrape, I clean. Everything was inside. Love it. Another patches by Patchology under eye patches. A mask also from Stylevana from the brand Abib. Love it. This was a sample that I got from Tarte.com. Chrysalis concealer, which I was surprised how much I could use from this much. It's just a little bit there, but it's so, so pigmented and a little bit goes a long way and it wasn't creasing. So I might consider to buy it at some point. This I just literally finished it today by 111 Skin, the Rose Gold Radiance Booster. I cannot see that I have seen anything, any improvement by using this serum and it's damn price. I think it's like 130 US dollars. This is my favorite discovery by Sephora, the daily makeup brush cleanser. I already have a backup and it's like a life saver when you want to cleanse your favorite brushes. This was one of my all time favorite cleansers by Yves Lom. So it just it travel size. I'm not going to repurchase it also because I have a lot of cleansers, but it's a good one. I finished up a by Terry. This was Bomb, Bomb de Rose. It's a lip balm. Now I love rose, but I don't know. Somehow the sense of the rose on my mouth, it wasn't my favorite. So yeah, when I see this in a beauty box or in a value box, I will skip it. I don't like it. This is a old primer by Laura Mercier, which I thought it has to be the clutter, but I love it. Foundation primer. I, they don't have it anymore. I have it from a long time. A um, MAC pen, Glorious Intent Sheer Supreme Lip Gloss Tint. It has literally dried out. Here I was doing a declutter and I have found some things that are old. This is a powder by Essence, which I have used quite a lot, but it's older. This is from my earlier discoveries from uh, watching YouTube videos. I don't think that this brand exists anymore. NYC and this color, color wheel mosaic face powder. I remember Emily Noel made me buy this one, but it's not. It wasn't pigmented, so I don't know if it was something wrong with the product. A bare mineral blemish remedy concealer. This is a mineral con concealer, but I wasn't in this kind of things. Those are few brushes that I'm going to declutter. I'm not going to toss them. I'm going to give them to my daughter to play with them. But just <laughs> look at this one. This is a BH Cosmetics foundation brush, but it's too fluffy for doing a good job. And those are some random. They are from AliExpress, most of them. A beauty blender, but yeah, it's a beauty blender sponge. It was, it is too old and I never liked this one in black. A Lancome Visionnaire multi-correction cream. I love this one. I only had five mils, but it was a nice, nice try. A cuticle pen. I remember buying this from AliExpress. This is a eyebrow pencil, which I don't know from which brand it is because, because the print it's literally gone, but I do tend to believe that it's from LA Girl. And I think I gave it to my daughter because I didn't like the shade. It was too warm for me and she managed to break it or so. I finally decided to part way with my Dura Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Bel Air. It was just becoming too difficult to sharpen it, but I have two more backups. I have a lip balm that I bought from Bulgaria with rose extract, but this was different than the one that 
I showed you from uh, battery and it was really nice moisturizing both my daughter and I have used it and I had one lip balm from um, fresh it was just a small size but I cannot find it a deep sip deep sleep pillow spray by this works which is nice a lip balm from another organic brand that I got in love Lula actually I didn't like so much this one and finally I'm um, parting ways with this bare mineral lipstick which is destroyed my, by my daughter. Oh, here you are, your little guy, I found it. This is by Rose, by um, Fresh Sugar Advanced Lip Therapy, lip treatment. And I just, I'm scraping, I still have something left. Love it. This is the best lip balm that I ever used. And finally, a shampoo by um, Body Shop Fuji Green Tea Refreshing Purifying Shampoo. Didn't like it. It was awfully giving me a lot of dandruff, so I'm not going to repurchase it. But yeah, those are all my empties. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't want to make it too long, so I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch. Don't forget the most beautiful makeup. It's your own smile. If you are interested about the makeup that I'm wearing, I'm going to list it in my description box below. And I'm going to wish you all a wonderful day, guys. Love you all so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.